Hello everyone. In this class, we will be discussing about the graphs. Graph is a very important tool to present information. And in physics, while describing motion, few graphs are very very important like displacement time graph, distance time graph, speed time graph, velocity time graph. We use them to solve different types of problems to find out the distances, to find out the displacement, to find out the acceleration of moving bodies and like that. So first I will give you uh, basically information regarding graphs, how to plot them and then how to study them and how to use them. Graph is plotted between two quantities. One will be independent and another will be dependent. What does it mean? Independent quantity means a variable that we can vary and the other quantity will depend on that. For example, time and distance. So time here is independent and distance will depend on time. If I say a body has covered a distance of 5 meters in 5 seconds, 10 meters in 10 seconds, 15 meters in 15 seconds, then I am changing the time and distance accordingly changes. So uh, there are few points, few steps how to plot a graph. First is selection of axis. Usually we take x, y, we can take y, z too. And two dimensional we are dealing with. So on the board, on the paper, we have x axis, we also call it horizontal axis, this we call as vertical axis. So this is the first step, axis. Now, if we have to plot a graph between say, distance time, so I'm giving you an example, it will be easier to understand time and here distance. Distance I am taking in meters and time let me take it in seconds. 0, 0, 10 seconds the distance may be or let me take it 50. 50 seconds time is say distance is 10 meters, then 100 it is 20, 150 it is 30, 200 it is 40. This is the information that we have, that the body covers this, this, this distance in times mentioned here. So first point is selection of axis, second will be choosing a particular scale. Scale means I have to show this information on this. Time is taken on x axis and distance will be taken on y. In all these graphs, remember, time will always be taken on horizontal axis and the other variable which depends on time will be taken on y axis. Okay, I have to show 50, 100, 150, 200 here. And same way on this axis I have to 0, 10, 20. So if you are using a graph paper, then there are divisions, the smallest divisions are in millimeters and then we have centimeters after every 10 millimeter we have centimeter mark and like that. So let me take uh, 1 centimeter here as 50. For time axis I am taking 1 centimeter as 50 seconds. And here I am taking 1 centimeter as 10 meters. This is the scale for y axis, this is the scale. So 0 and then say this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 50, 100, 150, 200. And same way here 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is 10, 20, 30, 40. And so on. First step selection of axis, x axis, y axis, time on x axis, distance on 
y-axis. Second is selection of scales. This I am giving you an example for particular graph. For all graphs you will have to choose a particular scale. Now third will be points. Mark all the points at zero distance is zero. So this one only. At 50, 10. So 10 and 50. Wherever these two intersect. Same way at 100, 20. So this point. 30, 150. 200, 40. And then we need to connect them. So this is the graph. We can read it now, just opposite, we have plotted it. At 50 seconds, the distance is 10. At 100 second, distance is 20. At 150, it is 30. And same way at 200, it is 40. So this is how we can plot a graph between any two quantities. Here, we will be discussing about this distance time, displacement time, speed time, and velocity time graphs. So the first is, let me take distance time graph time on this axis and distance on this axis okay this is just an example to study this I can take at this time this is the distance at this time, this is the distance and same way for every time I can find out where the body is. How can it be useful now? It is telling me, it is giving me an idea about the distance covered at different point of time. I can even find out the speed using it. How? If I say at this time, the distance is at this time, distance is this, d2. How we calculate the speed? Distance covered divided by time. So from this to this time, it has covered this much to this much distance. So we can find out d2 minus d1 upon t2 minus t1. This will give me the value of speed using distance time graph. I may include numeric numbers and then let us calculate. This is time. Let us take in seconds. So 10 seconds, 20 seconds and same way say it is 100, it is 150 meters and I ask you find out the speed and how will it be at 20 it is 150 minus at 10 it is 100 upon 20 minus 10 so it is 50 by 10 or 5 meters per second this is the speed so using a graph between distance and time we can find out the speed of the body. Okay, now if I plot a graph like this, what does it mean? If I again take two points and then here two points, what will be d2 minus d1 here? d2 minus d1 upon t2 minus t1 and this is 0 by t2 minus t1 so it is 0 actually the body is not changing its position it means it is standing it is at rest 
So a line parallel to time axis means the body is at rest. A body with this graph is moving with a constant speed. Actually, if you observe this graph, the slope of the graph tells us about the speed. When the graph is like this, zero slope, zero speed. When the graph is like this, it is constant slope, so constant is speed. Okay. Zero is speed. This is constant speed. What about this? The slope is gradually increasing. So it is increasing speed. So using a distance time graph, we can find out the speed of the water. If I take displacement time graph, first tell me what will be the difference. This is time and here we have displacement. One major difference, displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and the final position. It, it can be negative also. So if I have to plot a graph for a body, say this is origin, a body is initially here and it is coming like this and moves up to this point. And I ask you plot its displacement time graph. I take displacement is plus and minus both. On the right, let me take positive. So here displacement is positive. Now it's again positive. It's still positive. Because positive means till the time the body is to the right of this. The displacement is positive. It is this distance, this distance, this distance. It is gradually decreasing. So as the body is coming here, displacement is decreasing. Distance is increasing. Because distance is always taken how much it has traveled. Displacement is taking how far away it is from this. So it is decreasing. Now it is zero. And now, now it is negative. What type of graph will be there for this particular example? Displacement is positive and then it is zero and then it is negative. But I am moving it with constant speed. If I keep on increasing the speed, then again the slope will not be constant. Just as the slope of distance time graph gives speed, slope of displacement time graph gives velocity. The nature of both the graphs is almost same except that displacement can be negative also. So, we may have a graph like this, but in distance, the graph is always in the positive side. Distance is never negative. So, this type of graph can be for displacement. So, it is positive and then it decreases, it is zero and then it is negative. Same example, a body coming like this, plus and then minus. What can be calculated using distance time graph? You find out the slope and you will get the velocity. Velocity can be plus as well as minus. Let me take an example. Okay, 
this is the displacement technique of positive, constant and then negative degrees. O to A, if I say find out velocity, velocity is B minus 0 upon T1 minus 0. This is how we calculate this, this d 0 d minus 0 this is the displacement t1 minus 0 this is the time for a b velocity is d minus d upon t2 minus p1 that is 0 see the body is at rest same displacement it is not moving at all, so its velocity is zero. What about B to C? B two T two is zero minus D D two minus D one upon T two minus T one. What is the time here? T three. What is the time here? T two. It is minus D by t3 minus t2. See what I wanted to tell you. O to A velocity is positive. A to B velocity is 0. B to C velocity is negative. Right? Velocity is negative. Velocity can be negative speed can never be right so this is the difference between displa uh, displacement time graph and distance time graph distance always keeps on increasing distance may decrease it's possible that like in this case displacement is decreasing and then it is increasing on the minus side but distance is always Increasing a body comes from here to here, then here to here, then here to here. It has covered this plus this plus this plus this distance. So, distance will never decrease, displacement can decrease and may become zero also.